Hello, you guys. Welcome back to my channel, The Spiritual Justice Gym. I'm Goddess Quita, or you can call me Quita. Either one would do. I answer to both. Today, we're doing a mental health check-in, um, mental health reading. Um, basically, we're going to start off um, <clears throat> with a quick prayer because a lot of things have been going on today. I just want to say, Holy Spirit, come in and help us. Help us to see everything that we need to heal and take care of. Help us to be better people. Help us to better ourselves. And help us to see that we are special, we are loved, and we are cared for. In the name of the Most High. Amen. Okay. <clears throat> so, we're going to start off with um, insomnia. Dependent person, this um, personality disorder, depression, post-traumatic stress disorder, childhood amnesia, hallucinogen, addiction. Okay, spirit said the whole underlying reason for this addiction is the depression, the dependent personality, the insomnia. All of this is shown. This is triggered. This is what's triggering the addiction. Is that you, um, <clears throat> something special ha ha happened in your childhood? You may be because of the childhood amnesia is here. You may be repressing or suppressing the um, <clears throat> excuse me, suppressing the memories of what happened in your childhood. But it's causing you depression. It's causing you to be dependent on people um, in ways that you shouldn't be. It's causing you to have insomnia and have post traumatic stress disorder too. You probably panic a lot. I'm feeling somebody that that um uh, calls out while they're sleeping or or in the middle of doing something somebody somebody says something and it like you get triggered just like that and you're just like oh my god oh my god um I remember when I was pregnant one of my kids um her, that her father used to make me feel like I, I was gonna lose him and I was like all the time panicking while I was pregnant it was not good for my pregnancy and that's how I feel right now I feel like I'm out of breath like oh my god like any little thing that I do like like anything that you do it make you walk on eggshells because you don't know when it's gonna get triggered and you literally probably I'm seeing somebody taking a, an inhaler you might have an inhaler you might think that you are um have um asthma or whatever but it's not the case you just having panic attacks um yeah it's something I, I see what happened in your childhood but i am not led to say so um yeah this is led to all of this craziness and plus it's crazy your childhood might have been crazy because there's a bunch of kids outside my door right now acting all crazy doing all kinds of stuff you know being kids but um this might have happened from other kids i didn't see that you were really abused you was traumatized maybe by other kids. Maybe you was bullied. I'm sorry. Maybe you was bullied. Um, or maybe... Um, yeah, maybe you was bullied. And you never told somebody about it. You just wanted to forget about it. But it was something that was really stressful to you. Or... Yeah. No, it's more than that. It's way more than that. It's the environment you grew up in. It was more of a poverty-stricken environment I'm seeing. Yeah, yeah, I'm so sorry for that. But it's causing you to be on probably LSD or PCP. Or if you're not on this um, type of drugs, you might um, have um, hallucinations like people are after you because of the post-traumatic stress disorder. It might triggers this like hallucinations like people are after you to get you or if somebody says something in a in a certain tone it can trigger you too i'm feeling like you're panicking and you're like oh my god oh my god what <laughs> i feel like you don't feel like you belong because of all of this that goes on in your life you don't feel normal but i'm here to tell you you are normal you are loved you're just unique. You went through a unique experience to make you who you are. And you just need a little healing. So, um, Spirit is giving me angel numbers. 1880. I'm going to start it off. Well, my last reading, Spirit gave me this, a couple of these numbers here. And I was going to take them out, but Spirit told me to put them back. Um, success, achievement, positive affirmations, growth, thinking, um, confidence. The key 
a lot of what I'm hearing, Spirit say the key is going to be your confidence. It's going to be a positive affirmation. It's going to feed and it's going to be in feeding your brain positivity so you can maintain balance, respect, and prosperity. That's another number that came out of my last read. Um, and the 703 overcoming, uh, you will overcome difficulties. I'm hearing somebody got in a car crash. I'm hearing a car crash, which is what caused you to not be able to remember your childhood. And it's making you stay up at night because you want to remember your childhood. So you do the drugs to remember your childhood and you develop this dependent and depression personality because of the car accident because you can't remember your childhood that was very specific dang that just came right in that was very significant that and this is causes you what causes you to stay up at night you're constantly up you're not getting sleep and you need to sleep uh very lavender lavender tea right lavender just an oil to rub you rub down on your body if you're not allergic oh my god um chamomile tea that will help you sleep that will relax you if you want to induce your memory there is some certain herbs you can take you can look up i prefer you to use i would use um instead of the lsd or the pcp any drugs i would prefer you i forget what the name of that it's a um anyways just look it up online on google and you can pick what was led to you and you can use natural herbs and remedies to induce your childhood memory because somebody got in a car accident, it led to post, it led to you having post um, traumatic stress disorder, which led to you not being able to, re to remember your childhood. Well, like, oh my God, it's just like one thing after another, another, and oh my God, I'm so sorry that that happened to you. That came in very strongly. The other from you, uh, oh, that came in strongly. Um, my heart goes out to you. I'm so sorry that happened to you. Um, but this car accident, God said it's going to be a blessing. And he's going to turn this into a blessing. You're going to have a testimony. You're going to have something to share with other people. God says it's going to bring people together. He's going to bring you out. He wants you to learn how to heal yourself and learn how to hear his voice so that you can um, hear, heal yourself and that you can become better. You can, we got, I, I hear you saying you want to be your old self again, but God said he's going to even make you better than your old self. He's going to make you better than that. That's what I'm hearing. He said if you give it all to him, he's going to make it better. But please try to stay off the drugs if you're on drugs. Please try to um, stay balanced so that you won't lose your, your, your respect and your prosperity. If you already have lost it, God can restore balance. God can restore your prosperity. He can restore your, your respect, your respect, but you have to put in the work. Um, six two six angels are ready to support you in every move. So you see how God got your back? Oh my God! Six in every aspect of your mind. He said in your every move, in your every move, He's ready to support you in your every move. Believe you are special and do things that define you. Don't be like if that's what I'm authenticity. Do not be like be you. Be do things that defines you. That's what I started doing. I started saying bump what everybody <laughs> think and all of this craziness. I'm just gonna be me. Authenticity is the key to your blessing, to your uniqueness. Believe you are special and do things that define you. It's okay if you outside of the box, boo. That's what God like. He don't like everybody that's just like everybody else. You know what I'm saying? Do stuff to define you. And you might be a leader one day. You might be a leader shortly after you heal this. Maybe God took you through this so that you can help other people come out. So people can follow you as a positive example and not a negative example. I'm hearing spirit says that they are right by your side. And I see seven. it's 7 o'clock on the dot. Good. That means good news is coming to you <laughs> and to me. Thank God. <laughs> but um, even though you have this dependent personality, I I hear. I think this reading goes in with the other reading I just did because God is saying that there's someone that's interested in you and they want to help you. They want to heal with you. And you, God do have earth angels that will help you heal. That will be by you. He do have people that He sent into certain soulmates that He sent into people's lives to help them heal. But you have to open a door. You have to be receptive to these people. You can't do this. You have to. You have to have your hand like this because once you have your hand like this, and when you need to protect yourself, you can't close it up and you can open it right back. But if you're constantly like this, you can't receive anything. So be ready to receive. 
be ready to receive this. That's all I can say. Because God, he, he, like he ready for you. He said, believe that you are special. He's the angels are ready to support you in every which way. Oh my God. You will overcome difficulties. You will maintain balance, prosperity, and respect, success, growth, positive thinking, positive affirmations, and achievement is all yours once you give it to God, once you give it to the angels. I feel like this read and my angel read um, connect. So please go watch that video before this one because, baby, these, this reading is connecting all too well. So you guys... Just be blessed, and I'm sorry you went through that. Whoever went through this car accident that caused them not to be able to remember their childhood, I am so sorry that happened to you, but God can restore and He can make you better. You heard what He said in His reading. You heard what the Holy Spirit said. You hear what the angels are ready to do. They bought their life for you. Okay. <laughs> Bye, you guys. See you later.